We have a question from Jesse. I've been wondering about the difference between the kettlebell gobble squat and the double kettlebell rack squat. And I figured there'd be no better person to ask than the man who is regarded as the father of the gobble squat. Father and inventor, yes. Apart from the obvious difference in the way you hold the weight, are there many tangible differences between the two movements? Um, well, one of the things I like about the goblet squat is you know you can you can lever it out, you let it go out, and it puts more and more and more tension on your ab wall, and that's kind of nice. And you can curl with it, which you know so that you can work your arm uh, I like I I like that. But to me, the natural progression up is of course from goblet squat to double kettlebell front squat. Uh, with the double kettlebell front squat, you can use a lot more load. And I also like it because the weight starts to do this. I, I, I know it's not supposed to, but it feels like it's sliding down your chest, which makes you have to counter with anaconda strength. Um, the difference probably is simply load. Um, I can teach a, a group of a couple hundred in seconds how to squat with the goblet squat. With the double kettlebell front squat, we have to teach... Uh, the proper clean, the proper rack. So it takes a little longer, but it's one of those nice things that both are wonderful. Okay. I hope that helps, Jesse. And, um, you know, there's a stupid question. If you can only do one exercise, what would you do? It's an idiotic question. It's, it's, and you hear it so often, you just start to wonder if people just get dumber by the minute. But, but, if all you did was kettlebell front squats, you know, you'd be okay. It's, it's a pretty good lift. All right. Thank you.